everyone. I just got inspired by Brenda. Uh, she just ordered a steamer and I thought oh, I'm using the steamer right now. So what better way to show it off than just to do a video of what I was actually making at the time. So tonight I'm making Greek souvlaki um, on pita with some lemon dilly tzatziki and a Greek salad. So the first thing I want to do is get my chicken cooking in the steamer because I have a lot in here. I've got it chopped up with peppers and green onion or green peppers and red onions. Um, so I just got to season that with the souvlaki seasoning. There's no oil or any water in here at all. The chicken and the vegetables all steam within their own juices. So I've got a lot in here so I'm going to put two good tablespoons in there. I'll stir it around and see if that's enough. I already lost my tool. Found it, my favorite tool. Rob and Ryan, we were talking about this tool at uh, Andrew's birthday party. This is my favorite corner spatula. It, uh, it does everything. Okay, so now like you don't need salt for any of this. Our seasonings are all low sodium, but they're just so full of flavor that why would you need to add any salt? Of course, if you want to add salt, you can go right ahead. So I've just stirred all that up. I'm going to pop that in my microwave. Because there's a lot in here, I'm going to do it probably for six and a half to seven minutes. If you only had one or two small chicken breasts, I have the wrong lid. One or two small chicken breasts, then five minutes would be plenty. See, the larger steamer has the three vents in it, so that's how I know. So this is the multi-purpose steamer. Also comes with a tray if you wanted to put your chicken on the bottom and then your vegetables on the top. All right, seven minutes. The next thing I want to do is get my uh, Greek dressing. Um, marinating not marinating you know what I mean so right now I have red wine vinegar and some olive oil in here um, I'm not following the recipe on the jar because I only wanted to make just a little bit so I'm just gonna use a teaspoon sorry it's hard to get stuff in so you never want uh, your cruet without your funnel so I'm using the four-in-one spice spoon it's got the tablespoon the teaspoon all built in tablespoon one side teaspoon other and then half teaspoon and then there's a little line inside there for the quarter teaspoon. I'll let that sit for about five minutes. So again with the dressings you can just make as much as you want to and store it in the fridge. They say these will last in your fridge for up to a week but now you, only, you know now you know what's in your salad dressing. Oil, vinegar and dried healthy seasonings. So that'll sit. Next I'm going to make my uh, lemon dilly tzatziki. So this is just three quarters of a cup of uh, plain Greek yogurt. I've grated some cucumber and soaked it in paper towel to get all the juice out. So again, I don't measure, but there is a recipe. And I'll just use my dip and spreader to mix that all up. Get the cucumber in there. Yeah, maybe I should have only used half a cup of yogurt. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this in another bowl because that's just not working. I'll just use another cup. Okay, I'm just trying to make enough for a couple days, so... So I'll stir the cucumber into there with more cucumber now that I have more room. So did you actually know that tzatziki sauce is just grated cucumber and yogurt and whatever seasonings? A lot of, I think people have garlic and salt and whatnot. I'm gonna use our lemon dilly tzatziki. I mean lemon dilly seasoning. Look how fresh that is. Can you smell it? All right, tzatziki, combine three tablespoons with two cups of Greek yogurt. So I don't even have a cup in there. So I'm just gonna put one big heaping, one big heaping tablespoon. Stir that up. And 
then that'll sit and the flavors will merge greatly. It'll be awesome on our souvlaki pitas. One thing I do like to add to the tzatziki though is some salt. So I got our chili garlic grinder using our ceramic grinder. Ceramic is sharp and amazing. Talking to the dog in the background. All right, Greek salad. You can put whatever you want in your Greek salad. I've got chopped up peppers and cucumber. We don't like raw tomatoes in this house. So I just chopped them up, but now I'm gonna add some red onion. That's a ceramic slicer. Red onion can be kind of potent, but it adds such a great flavor. So the thinner you slice it, the less potent it will be. So our little ceramic slicer, so you can see that has a groove on it, so you can just pop it right on there. And just... I'll show you some thin that's coming. Awesome for peppers, carrots, and zucchini. But I'm actually gonna add some zucchini in there as well, but I'm gonna spiralize it with our veggie twist and spiraler. Add some more greens. You can never have enough greens. Look at that. Awesome. It's like, just like a pencil sharpener. And this little wiggly funny thing comes out. <laughs> and I just realized all my silicone tongs are in the car because I did a freezer my own workshop last night. So I'm going to of course, the only utensils I ever have are all my up here stuff. So I don't even have a backup here. So I'm just going to use a big spoon. Stir that all up. There's a cucumber along the way. We'll add some feta after. We'll just dress that up and then toss it. smell the souvlaki chicken yummy so that's nicely oiled and vinegared Matt doesn't like dressing but when I do oil and vinegar he doesn't he doesn't call it dressing so he just doesn't like to eat that jarred stuff that has all that crap in it is what he says and you know what I don't blame him I've been making my own salad dressings for three or four years now then uh, add some feta has about one more minute. Look at that. I'm already ready for it. Stir up the tzatziki. You know what? Even though it called for three tablespoons for two cups of uh, Greek yogurt, I, I think that was too much seasoning for the three quarters of a cup I had. So I'm probably going to tame it down a little bit. Yeah. So again, that's the great thing about Epicure because everything is so pure and so real you don't need a lot of seasoning and people always say it's so ex well, some people say it's so expensive but it's the quality there's no fillers or additives or anything like that to make it bulk up so everything is the real ingredient so like a little teaspoon goes a long way microwave is beeping so these steamers can go in the microwave the oven, the dishwasher, the freezer, the fridge. Watch the steam. You can see I'm touching it. It's warm, but it's tolerable. Stir that up. I'm still seeing a little bit of pink. Like I said, I had a lot in here. But I'll just show you what's happening there. So I'm going to put it on for two more minutes. Most of the pieces you can tell are pretty cooked. But I still see a couple pink pieces. So 
back in we go two more minutes and then I'll put it on a pita put the chicken and the peppers all on top it with tzatziki sauce and then Greek salad on the side dinner is done we're at 10 minutes so the Greek combo it all comes in together everything is maybe backwards I'm not sure Souvlaki. Let me tell you, this is the Good Greek Real Fast Collection. Thanks for watching.